take my glasses off. You see here, you have an alate. Alien? No, alate. Oh, sorry. A an alate is a winged insect. Most people don't know that ants produce wings. Yeah. Well, they're, mo they're mating at this time of year. The reason they do the wings is they're mating, they're doing nuptial flights. Okay. And these happen at night. So now you have a big headed ant, which this is a major worker. It has the big head. And these are all minor workers. When you see a lot of minor workers, you have a big colony. What happens is, as you start killing off with sprays and liquids all the minor workers that are going out getting food, mm -hmm. these are going to become more apparent because they have to now go out and work. There is no workers. Gotcha. So the major worker has to go out and get the food because these guys are not doing their job. So that's how you know the colony is collapsing. This is how you know you have a very big colony nearby is all of a sudden you have all these minor workers everywhere. The thing is they can make the nest indoor. They can make a satellite nest. So they can make a nest inside the wall, the drywall, somewhere they can make a nest inside. And the way you usually notice that is you don't have that here is they'll start kicking out dirt because they take the frass of the other insects they ate mm -hmm. and they start kicking that out and then to clean their nest and then it becomes apparent. So in this case, this right here is you just got, you've got swarmers at this time of year, you have, and there's a beetle they carried, there's one of your little grain beetles, and they carried it for food. There she is on it. She, she died. How, how do you know the size of the colony? Because the, 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 num, the, 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 the number of, uh, of uh, ants there, they're dying? Or how? Well, you, do, you, you all we can go by on colony size is entomological data. I mean, the mm -hmm. science that's published. The problem with big-headed ants is they don't make one nest. They don't make one colony. They make hundreds of colonies. Oh, wow. So you have, you're looking out in your yard, and you don't see them because they're underground. Mm -hmm. They don't make ant nests like fire ants do. They're underground and the nest is in the ground. This is another part where people don't understand. If you spray that lawn, sure, you're going to kill a lot of ants. doesn't mean you kill the nest because you kill a lot of minor workers. But it didn't get down to the queens because they're in the ground. There's no way chemical can go that far down because, as you know, chemical is designed to stay on the top layer of organic matter. Okay. So what happens is the, the chemical is designed to bind to the soil, to organic matter, so it doesn't leach into the soil and get into our water. Correct. So by spraying it, it's never going to get down to where that ant is, which is several centimeters underground. They're going to be just superficial. So you're, all you're doing is getting, by spraying the lawn, what you're really doing is getting suppression. You're not getting control. You're just bringing down the population to where it's more manageable, but you're not getting rid of it. So the only way to really get control is baits. What's the advantage of baits? Is one, they're more effective. You have lower concentration of chemical. You have way, way less chemical. Like chemi the, the bait is highly concentrated into that little bait. And that, that LDS, that, that, that LD50, uh, for that particular ant, is that's the chemical amount that's required to kill that ant. So if you have dogs, if you have cats, it's not designed to harm them because it's only designed for that weight of that ant. So that's, that's what we're dealing with, is more effective to use baits than to use liquids. Liquids are great if you're doing a perimeter, just a small perimeter where they're trailing, so it doesn't disrupt their pheromone trail. You can't use a pyrethroid. So if you're going and buying over-the-counter products, Why you, not that because pyrethroids in most cases for ants are repellent. So it causes a repellency and it damages the pheromone trail. They will just find another way to go. They'll avoid that trail and find another way to go because the pheromone trail has been disrupted. They can't follow it. That's the only way they know how to follow where there's food, is that pheromone they leave behind, that hormone. So what happens is, you destroy that pheromone trail, they gotta, they're like, where's our food? Where did it go? We don't know. And let's just, so now you find a trail up in the top, and, and, and it, it's a repellent product. Pyrethroids by nature, be, in certain insects, will be repellent. Okay. So what happens is, you need to stick to a, uh, a, a non-repellent product, like a neonicotinoid class 4, or a class 22 uh, insecticide like um, 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 Arolon, which is in doxycarb, which is a totally different chemical action that is non-repellent. It doesn't destroy that pheromone. It leaves it intact. You want when, here's the complaint. You were on my house, you just sprayed it. I still see a trail of ants. It's designed to do that. It's designed to let it for days. And it takes about five to seven to 10 days in the case of Fibronel. To, this, to get them to take it back and start destroying that colony. It's a very long-term 
It's not short term. Pyrethroids, quick knockdown. Pyrethrum, quick knockdown. You spray it, you kill everything in sight, but then a couple of days later when that starts wearing down, guess what? They're back again. So that's the challenge with, with doing pest control is that you have to understand the chemistry and you have to understand the biology in order to create a program for this. So if I have one program and I just come in and I say, we just spray. Well, we're going to be spraying all the time and we're still not getting control. So basically, you need to, 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 to come to, to, the, to this house how many times to, to do... Uh, it it depends on the control. biology. Because if we're, we're dealing right now with, we're dealing with three ants that we're seeing. Right now we're seeing one ant, we have a beetle, and we're dealing with American roach. All with different biology, different lifespan. The, 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 the life cycle of this ant could be several months, and that's it. The, the life cycle starts over again. In the case of the American roach, it's almost a three-year life cycle. So it takes him 15 months just to go from egg to adult, and then he's got another year to be an adult. Okay. So be, depending on how they behave and how they eat and all that, it depends on the follow-up. So in this case, we're probably going to have to follow up about three times in the next month to make sure we got control. We're going to have to keep putting out the bait, figuring out if they're taking it. If we're getting control, monitor that. If not, we need to switch to a liquid. If not, we need to switch to a glucose bait to figure out what they're taking. Usually we can know at the time of the year. At this time of the year, they're, they're most likely doing proteins because their population doesn't need to expand. They're not in expansion mode. Right now they are. See, they just started. So but this is an mm -hmm. example that you've got an alate that they're, hey, we're, they're gonna, we're building a colony. We're mating because we're getting ready for spring and, and uh, summer when uh, summer comes. So having uh, happy times over there. Yeah, they're having a party, you know. And so, right. so now, so now we're, we're looking at, so now I know when summer comes, you know, we might end up with, with protein, uh, with liquid base, uh, gels. And those are very hard to do outside because you have to install stations. You can't just put a liquid, throw it out. You have to put it somewhere. Sure. So we have to switch back and forth depending on what it have. So how you kill the, the, the queen? I mean, this is the, the, the masterpiece. Uh, how, how Baits. So the, 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 the worker's job is to take food back to that queen so she ah. can continue to produce. Yes. So by, by t get using the bait and using their own biology against them, they're, gotcha. they're going to take it back. They're going to take that bait back to where that thing is on the ground. They know where their nest is. We don't know. See, that's the beauty about an ant is an ant knows where his nest is. I don't know where it is. got to spend so a you, year looking for we it. We cannot ask the ant. We can't ask the ant, so we're trusting that they're going to take the bait and observe. So we're going to put out bait, and we're going to observe them, see if they'll take it. 